was spending the week anchored in a small channel on Elizabeth Reef, an outer reef lying in between Australia and New Zealand. It's exposed and the sea is regularly rough. Today we awoke early to winds, rain and swell. We had to move and as our windlass is currently broken, it takes a lot of time and manpower to move the heavy anchor manually. At 6am we were battling the wind with the shallow reef surrounding us. We spent the morning moving Sylvia, dropping the anchor and moving again until we felt safe enough with our position for the strong winds predicted. However, nothing could have prepared us for what was coming our way. This is the story of a sailboat named Sylvia and the ragtag crew that call her home. Join us each week as we explore the planet both above and below the surface. And see what it's really like to live a life at sea. This is Expedition Drenched. All right, what have we done? What's this? Okay, um, we think maybe our clutch is slipping. Our clutch is made of some leather, which we don't have. We don't have any more spares. So we're just toying around. Maybe we can use some substitute materials. Maybe some plywood will give us that compressive factor we need to, to get our windows spinning. Mm-hmm. See how we go. What's she working on? Um, doing some sewing. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Very safe with life jackets. <laughs> yeah. So fixing this, our yeah. zipper broke. So when the thing explodes, it'll explode out. So you're just doing like thin ones, yeah? Yeah, yeah. just little tiny ones and they pop open. Yeah, good job. me all their things to fix. Good job. How do you know how to, how do you know how to sew? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I have got to say, today has been quite the day. We started off with waking up and straight away emergency. We moved the boat forward. We pulled the anchor up by hand. Four times? Three, four, five. And then we were all just chilling inside and we noticed that the wind started to die and the sun started to come out. And I've got to say, this crew is actually so freaking awesome. Like, we have emergencies or we have grey days, we have hailstorms, rain, whatever it might be. And everyone keeps their spirits up. No one gets grumpy about it. Everyone's just really in a good mood. Everyone's sees the silver lining behind the big grey cloud. Since everyone's smiling and laughing through all the stressful times, it keeps the mood high, it keeps our energy up, and we get through it as a team. And I just really love that. So, go us, I guess. It's that kind of night. We are not gonna fight. But we are all sitting here tight. We are not going anywhere. The wind's gonna pick up. <laughs> I'm gonna stay all rugged up. We're writing a song about a sailor. We are all going to the tailor. We don't have a tailor on board yet, but we're gonna find one. We're gonna fix it. Take up the anchor, then we'll send people We're putting it up all together. <laughs> I didn't get that much sleep. <laughs> I can see clearly now the rain is gone. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. I can see all the obstacles in my way. <laughs> We thought it was over. Oh, yeah, we can be. Okay. Is it over? Uh, we're gonna get hit by some squally squalls tonight. It's all good. We got 50 meters of chain out. We're sitting pretty. No, we are. It off. I'm not worried. We um, thought the drama was done, but now looking at the radar, not so much. It gon' rain. It gon' get stormy up in here. <laughs> Suddenly, after the sun had set, we hit by the largest squall yet and the sound of our laughter was replaced with a howling wind. Oh my God. 
Scott. Five knots. Swear oaths you will not keep ones back on land. I was full motoring into that and just trying to keep us into the wind. That's what was happening there, just pointing us into the wind so it didn't 55 on our side. We could have done it. who knows. Um, right now the wind's coming from the southwest across. We're in a really safe spot. We dropped anchor really well that last time. Um, if, for whatever reason, that we started swinging in one of these reefs, like if 55 knots came from the south or something like that, or from the north, um, and we had to, we would have to ditch that chain. We would have to let it all out, cut the line, put a buoy on it real quick so that we could find it and we would have to leave here, put around and come back on Friday with no wind. Worst case scenario. But we need to do watches because obviously these roaming squalls, again, prediction of 22 knots. In fact, right now, prediction of 18 knots. Yeah, I've never felt the boat shake like that, to be honest with you. just gone off because we just got hit by another pretty big storm. It's been going all night. It's like roaming squalls. It'll be fine for maybe 20-30 minutes and then another one comes through. It's just this ongoing thing. So we've got night watches going on. So it's Tom, Ricky, Esti and I at the moment. And this is our second storm. But they blow over pretty quickly as well. Nothing like the first one, not like the big one. These are small 40 knot storms. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty crazy. Anyway, back to watch. winds that were like 20 knots and a squall came along hit us right like direct on us and it was 55 knots or 57 knots something ridiculous the whole boat was shaking it was crazy I felt really I had this sense of dread in my soul I haven't felt that in so long yeah it was it was a bit humbling to see just like what in Sanity, like Mother Nature can just throw at us. And quite comforting to see also that the boat you know, stayed together pretty well and we all managed to live through the night. And I felt, yeah, I felt a bit helpless in that situation. I guess that means I'm going to have to do a bit more reading and learn a bit more sail stuff. But Captain Nate, man, he came to the rescue. Wow. Kudos to him.
Headlights cross the wall mission getting here because it was so shallow, but we finally did. Now we get to get camping. Hello! How are you feeling? Oh, I feel good. I feel fresh. It's nice to put my feet on some solid ground in the sand and the sunset is beautiful. How are you feeling? Oh my god. Let me Like we're somewhere like we're probably no one has been before. <laughs> it's our island. I am feeling exhilarated by the beautiful colors of the belt of Venus. I've just learned about the belt of Venus from Philip. We are very lucky to be in this island all to ourselves. We're camping out for the night and yeah, just enjoying good times. We're probably going to see a sky full of stars. How does it feel being on land after two weeks? I, I actually kiss the sand as soon as I got on land. How are you feeling, Philip? Uh, Why are you walking away from me? Stop I'm walking because I'm uh, doing a very important job. What are you doing? Uh, making sure our dinghies are accessible as the tide comes in. Because it's a big sand flat, we couldn't get them all the way to the to the island, so the anchors are sitting out in the water. Some are sinners, some are saints, singing songs out loud. When you think of all the places you could be in the world right now, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. And it's just been the best day. Me and Philip had a really, really lovely surf. Earlier we went off in the dinghy to find a wave and everybody's just so happy and the sun has set. We're going to make a fire, which is my favourite thing to do in the whole world. They smile and they laugh and they flow Singing high Fire spinning, that was cool. Hey, uh, what was your highlight of the night, Ricky? Well, my highlight of the night was uh, throwing compliments at each other. We had a bit of a, of a bonding moment as crew. We actually went around and threw compliments to every single crew member. Huh. So it was a really nice time to reflect on the beautiful things that everybody brings onto the table and just speak our hearts out, you know, <laughs> cry our hearts out. Are you crying? Oh, no. I was not crying. I am not crying. You're crying. I'm not crying. I'm not crying. You're crying. I'm not crying. You're crying. The highlight of the night was having my toes on land and oh. in sand and falling asleep under the stars. Jeff, what was your highlight? Mm, my highlight was 
the singing the songs around the campfire, um, everybody singing along, mm -hmm. got your heart out to Jolene. My highlight of the evening was like opening our hearts, I guess. Yeah, like everyone saying like something beautiful from Rita Fast. Yeah, that was a really great moment. Highlight was when we started the fire, getting cozy around the fire and baking potatoes, had some food. Yeah. Yeah, that was really cool. Good times. Dive time is coming up shortly, uh, but we made big bowls of bolognese. Ooh, oh, pop. Look at this. Thanks. Good job on the bread. Yeah. You excited for your night dive tonight? So excited. Yeah. Yeah. Have you been on a night dive before? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a casual uh, blackwater dive. Yeah. Four thousand meters of water. This is your first normal night dive. Yeah. yeah. So excited. Let's go see the creatures. Let's go see the critters. Yeah. Yes, she's going to be a great uh, instructor teaching her up, and Amy's with Ricky uh, doing his dive master course. So, yeah, we got people doing all sorts of things. So I don't have to do anything except for film for our viewing pleasures. But Aww. here come the seagulls. Um, we're just swimming across the channel where the boat is and then diving on the shelf, the reef shelf there. And yeah, it's your first night dive. How are you feeling? Molly and Tiff were diving nearby at night time and there was hundreds of sharks. Now, so I'm a little bit apprehensive and uh, cautious. I wish I had a big pointy metal stick uh, just in case some big chompy boys show up. But no, I'm pretty, pretty chill. You're no bandage, you're serene Oh Lord, your love, it satisfies me Only you could taste this sweet My mind gets lost in your grace like a real dream so don't wake me from this sleep Cause I feel alive Oh, if someone weigh me I feel lighter than the clouds And I ain't coming down somehow You're my whispering breeze Oh Lord, your love is satisfied Next week, we sail to Lord Howe Island. Hello, it's Molly from the future. I just wanted to put on the end of one of these episodes that I've now started my own YouTube channel. It's called Molly V Mountains, and it basically follows my rock climbing progression around Australia and where me and Philip are living now, which is a tiny island with just about 50 people that live on it. So yeah, if you want to check it out and subscribe and all those things, then it's Molly V Mountains and I'll leave a link below.
normally ride. But there's still hope. How I may have guessed. Amy didn't know why I named them just some ass. Who ate all that chocolate? Yeah. Now here's a story for you. Maybe it's a mystery, or maybe it's Gloria. <laughs> Chocolate that we left about. Pretty tea wasn't 